Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Mrs. Rohrer's Vegetable Cookery and Meatless Substitutes of 1902, we're going to be making the Bobo Tea Sandwich. And if you heard me say Boba Tea Sandwich, incorrect. <laughs> Not that by a long shot. All right, we're supposed to put into a meat chopper, and I'm going to be using the Cuisinart, uh, some blanched almonds, sweet red peppers, onions, and you can't see it in there, but apple as well. Chop it up. And it said to do it chopped, it didn't say to puree it. So now we add in our seasoning, which is curry powder, salt, and lemon juice. Then all mixed together. And then we put that on the buttered wheat bread. Whole wheat bread. Not half wheat, quarter wheat, none of that business. Okay, let's give this bobo tea sandwich a go. We've got the sweetness from the sweet red pepper, the tang of the onion, the tartness of the apple, and the nuttiness from the almonds, and a little bit of lemon juice and curry powder. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. Texture-wise, it's not bad either. If you were on a vegetarian diet in 1902, you could do a lot worse than this. <laughs> I do want to plus it up a little, though. We had a little gochugaru, which is a Korean chili flake. Not terribly spicy, but fruity and smoky and a little heat. Okay, let's give this bobo tea sandwich plussed up with the gochugaru chili flakes a go. The little fruitiness and smokiness is playing really well off the sweet bell pepper, the onion, and the nuts. This is actually pretty okay. So clearly from the name of the book, this is a, a recipe book intended for folks who are having some sort of digestive health issues back in the early 1900s and they prescribed a vegetarian diet and this was one book that I tried to accommodate it. Um, it wasn't bad actually. The combination of the onion with the, the apple, with the bell pepper and the almonds, it was pretty good. And then you add in a little curry powder and, and lemon juice, it got kind of interesting and the texture was nice, good crunch to it, good heft to it. So. If you were on a vegetarian diet in 1902, this was actually pretty good. I'm gonna give the original one, I'm gonna give it a six and a half, I think. Plus up with the gochugaru, a little bit of heat, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of uh, fruitiness. I'm gonna say that's probably like a seven. That is a tasty combination. I'm definitely gonna finish this. I don't think I'd ever make this again because there's so many other sandwiches to get to, but I don't hate. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>